What's up folks, Dave Mate. First of all, I'd like to send you guys to uh, a community that I'm involved with, involved with called Team Lucid Dream. Check it us uh, out on Facebook. It's, uh, it's about 14 lucid dreamers, uh, people who are connected with their dreams, talking about their dreams, trying to bring awareness of understanding their dreams to inspire others. Uh, we have a page on Facebook and we release content almost every single day so I'll put the link below this video in the description box please subscribe to us on Facebook and uh, just uh, see what we have to say about dreams and living life, uh, lucid life today I want to talk about something that I've been thinking about for years since I've been lucid dreaming uh, I've been lucid dreaming for as long as I can remember but just over the past few years, I've begun to question, why can't I do everything I want to do while I'm in a lucid dream? Now that's a sort of open-ended, wishy-washy, very malleable question because there is no definitive answer to that. Why is that? Because in the dream, while you are lucid, Yes, you may be lucid, but you may never consider doing something else. Just like in real life, you know, uh, you're lucid and you may not consider to go jump off uh, and dive into the river, or you may not consider to go uh, hang out at some vacation house. Those things you just don't consider. So the same thing in the lucid dream, uh, as you gain lucidity, a lot of times you just don't consider doing certain things. Uh, for instance, I just don't consider flying to space. It's never been a real consideration for me. Uh, when I fly in lucid dreams, I take off, I probably go very high. I go, you know, 50, 60, 70,000 feet. Uh, but I never go to the stars, hardly ever. When I ash project, yes, I do. But ash projection, it's more of I just teleport and I wake up and I'm, I don't wake up. I teleport and I'm in the sky, right? I'm in the stars. As opposed to when I'm lucid dreaming, and I'm flying, I just, I don't know, maybe there's some sort of fear still there. I just never consider flying to uh, the stars. So, I begin to think about waking life. And in waking life, exactly what's going on in your life right now is exactly what you believe can happen. You know, some people are able to manifest amazing, beautiful things in their life. They think of great ideas and they just work towards it every single day and they manifest it you know that's really not so different than being in a dream and acquiring lucidity in a dream uh, so in the dream likewise you may not think you could walk through a wall so sometimes you won't walk through a wall I've, there have been many times in lucid dreams where I literally couldn't walk through the wall and I'm saying to myself why can't I walk through the wall I'm lucid this is crazy and I'm getting like antsy about it. I'm like, why can't I walk through the wall? And I really can't walk through the wall sometimes. And then when I wake up, I realize it. Perhaps I didn't believe that I could walk through the wall that night. I mean, usually I do walk through the wall. Uh, usually I do fly, but sometimes when I'm jumping up, when I, begun, when I begin to start to fly, I do like a technique where I just jump into the air and levitate for a second, then I take off. But there's been many times when I just couldn't do that even, you know? I just jumped and nothing happened and you know mind you I was lucid during this time so I think that in many ways not considering things while you're lucid and not being able to do things while you're lucid is uh, commensurate to or to a large degree equal to how and what you believe is possible in your waking life I see it happening all the time within my peers and within myself at times where if we don't believe that we could do something we fall into this sort of state of impossibility it's impossible I can't do it I'm not smart enough I'm not rich enough I'm not talented enough I don't have enough desire once you say you don't have enough of something you will automatically put a limit on your capabilities I believe that you could truly fly right now. Yes, in three-dimensional reality, I believe that if you truly believe that you could, you could fly. Absolutely, why not? You could defy physics. You could defy the earth. You could defy 
the gravity of the earth. Absolutely, because out of all that intelligence, you came. Out of all this cumulative consciousness, anything that you could imagine, anything that you see that's happening that's great and amazing, anything that has been done already, it's already in you. Obviously, that intelligence is already in you. So oftentimes we look back to the greats and the ancients and all the mystics and the Sufis and the things that they've done for millennia, but we have to understand that we are capable of doing everything. All the stories you've read about Jesus, all the stories you've read about Muhammad, all the stories you've read about Buddha, all the stories you've read about, you know, Zoroaster, all the stories you've read about all these ancient philosophers of Africa and India and China and Japan, miraculous things. But the true guru, the true teacher, the true seer, the true understander knows that those things may be miraculous, but that miraculous is more akin to like marketing. It's just how they marketed these, these, these things that happened. And they wrote about them and presented them. It's all marketing, really. You could do them too. But you must have unwavering, 100%, a million percent belief that you can do it. So take note to what's happening in your dreams. As many of you guys already know, what the first step is you have to understand, uh, you have to remember your dreams. You don't have to understand them, but you have to remember them. That's step one. What I like to do is every single time I wake up from a dream, and I remember probably 95 to 98% of my dreams, almost every night I can remember at least large swaths of my dreams. Remember, we have several dreams every night, it's not just one. Uh, step one is remembering your dreams. Once you wake up in the morning, I like to stay in bed and stay still and just remember my dreams and rem go through the dreams. Who did I talk to? What questions did I ask? What were my limits in, the, in those dreams? What were my capabilities? And I do that meditation every single day when I wake up from a dream state you know, sometimes two, three times a day because I take naps. I, I do something called biphasic sleeping where you take a nap every day. Uh, remember your dreams and study them. And through that contemplation and inflection upon your dreams, take note to the limits in your dreams. Why didn't you fly? Why didn't you walk through the wall? Why didn't you, you know, manifest that gun that you needed to protect yourself? Why didn't you create that energy ball why didn't you fly to the stars question those things because the answers will provide information that you need for your physical life as well for this three-dimensional life remember I believe there's only one life the whole delineation between dream state and waking state and, and astral projection and the different bardos and different levels I think that's all just marketing it's all just positioning different ideas which are great for intellectual understanding and intellectual grasping, but I believe that there comes a period where you have to dissolve all limits, dissolve all barriers, dissolve all delineations, and understand that there's only one, and it's now, and it's irrespective of what state you're in, whether it's the three-dimensional state or the fourth to fifth dimensional state, it doesn't matter. So, just empower yourself. Know that you are capable of doing amazing things. Act out those things and just make that your meditation every day. Say, I could do it. And don't just say, I could do it. Take physical, actionable measures to do what you want. That's yourself saying to the world, yes, I am powerful. I can manifest. I want to make money. Okay, I'm not just going to sit on my ass and think about it. No, I got to get up and do it. I want to start a yoga school, fine, I gotta get up and do it. I want to go to business school, fine, I gotta get up and do it. I want to uh, go uh, woofing and go to farms and help growers, I gotta get up and do it. Because the universe, though you are a part of the universe, the universe is, can also observe you. The universe is also watching you and seeing if you have the, the guts and the courage to, to do things. Because the universe is not just going to give you everything you want. Which is really to say, you're not going to give yourself everything you want unless you work hard and prove it to yourself. That's how you create things with what I call ethereal bricks. Ethereal bricks. You know, bricks of thought. Bricks of thought manifesting into physical bricks of action. So keep it lucid. 
remember your dreams, study your dreams, and understand that there are barriers in your dreams, regardless if you're a loser or not, just as there are barriers here. But those barriers are not real. They're illusions. Once we get past those barriers, we will begin to see that power reflected in our lucid dreams when we fly to the stars, when we walk through the walls, when we manifest power balls, when we understand how to communicate non-verbally, then we'll see that translate into this physical reality where we will be able to manifest more and great things at a faster, at a faster pace. My name is Dave Mate. I'm a part of uh, Team Lucid Dream. Follow us on Facebook. Uh, it's been an honor. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Salud. Peace.